Hey guys, um, Sean here. Just wanted to give an update on Project Pico, and um, unfortunately, it looks like Project Pico uh, crashed while I was gone. I was gone for five days, and um, I had asked uh, for my roommate to feed the fish, um, which he probably did on a daily basis. Um, I'm not sure exactly what what went wrong um, but I pretty much have come home to a dead tank so I'm reaching out to uh, YouTube and all the forums I post on for uh, a little bit of help to understand um, what might have happened so let me go ahead and give you the levels on the API test um, pH is very low it's at about 7.8 to 7.6 maybe yeah, I'd say 7.6. The ammonia is uh, skyrocketed, um, which I believe it's as a result of the creatures dying in it. I don't think the ammonia spiked first. I think um, I'm just going to lay out all the clues, and maybe you guys can help me piece this together. But ammonia right now is sitting probably about 3.0 ppm. It's a little bit under 4, a little bit over 2. So I'm going to go with 3 ppm. Nitrite level is in the range of 0.5. And then nitrate is at 5 ppm or 0 ppm um, at the most. So um, if you've been keeping up with uh, Project Pico, you can see the parameters were pretty stable, um, but here's what I have. So um, today is a warm day in the East Coast, and um, during the week we've had some warm weather. So um, I just wanna show you what the temperature is. It's 85.8 degrees right now. Uh, today is actually one of the cooler days this week. Uh, very unseasonable for uh, February, and I didn't uh, make preparations uh, for this obviously. Um, my heater is the 10 watt Aquion that just heats um, the water to uh, 78 degrees uh, but it may be one of those heaters that defaults to 5 degrees over the ambient temperature whatever that is so I have to do a little bit more research on um, that heater but I believe that to be the case um, in my other heaters I have uh, I'm sorry in my other aquariums I do have thermostats on all the heaters so they will go off at the set temperature. Um, so as you can see, there's not much left alive in this aquarium. Uh, there are the remains of uh, the remains of the coral banded uh, banded coral shrimp, the yellow body one. Um, it looks like um, the um, Mexican turbo snails have passed away. Uh, the Nasarius uh, snail is still alive there, and um, there there are some um, bristle worms that have come out of their rocks. So they're obviously stressed out. The um, Astrea snail there is dead. Uh, looks like there's another uh, dead um, Mexican turbo snail. Um, the, this turbo snail that's on the glass right now is alive, as far as I can tell. It was moving its antennas around um, when I came in. The um, emerald crab is dead. You can see it right there. So he's gone. And um, the uh, coral that I have in here, um, I'm not sure what kind of shape they're in. Um, this coral looks like it's melting. Uh, I don't know if that's just normal gro gro growth. And then there's a sponge next to it that's growing out as well. I don't know if that one died um, and there's another bristle worm hanging out there but um, I've got a ton of copepods in the aquarium now which is uh, um, you know a good sign of uh, growth but um, everything else in here is dead except for uh, what I've pointed out some of the bristle worms are still alive so I don't know if this is as a result of overfeeding or temperature um, my guess is temperature because I had enough cleanup crew in here to maintain the stability of whatever um, was put into the tank and um, 
you know, the, the temperature I think is the, is the biggest clue as to what might have happened here. Um, so the temperature is about 86 degrees and uh, yeah, so uh, just some bad news um, for uh, Project Pico right now and um, you know I've lost seven um, sexy shrimp, the yellow bodied coral banded shrimp or banded coral shrimp, the emerald crab, the um, turbo snails, uh, lost a bunch of stuff. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and post this on YouTube and maybe uh, seek some help from the forums to see if we can get to the bottom of all this. Um, but anyway, just an update. Uh, thank you for watching my video, and uh, please subscribe to see where this one goes next. Thank you.